everybody, welcome to Food Friday. What up, Ryan? Hey. Hey. Uh, for those of you who don't know Ryan, he goes to Shepherd and has been a part of the youth ministry since you were like sixth grade. You came in. Yeah. Time. And I think I even knew you before then because your sister. I knew your sister. Yeah, because my sister. Yeah. So, um, what grade are you going into now? Um, grade I'm going into now is ninth grade. Ninth grade high mm -hmm. school. <laughs> are you ready? Or do you feel do you feel good? I, I feel good right now, yeah. It just started and it's it's going out all right right now. So that's cool. Are your classes like pretty easy or more difficult than middle school? What do you feel? They're actually I think they're the like when it depends to middle school, like if I was in sixth grade, depending like sixth grade, it's kinda like how in sixth grade they just kinda went easy on me the first time. So it's really easy like that. Um it's going really easy for me right now. Um, cause they have like these work times in between when the classes are supposed to be keep going. So it really helps me able to get work done. Nice. You don't like homework and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was my jam. I was like, I'm going to get as much work done while I'm here. So I don't have to do it when I get home. I hated homework. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay. Well today we're going to be making some waffles and pancakes. Um, here's the deal. I'm gonna make the pancakes because I don't have a waffle maker. And then Ryan's gonna make the waffles. And I think you're gonna just kind of, this is simple at home. You know, I think a lot of us depend on our parents to make these things, but we can do it, especially when you have like pancake mix at home, it's really easy. So we're just gonna walk you through it so that you feel like empowered to make your own pancakes and waffles. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's start out Ryan, what's our first thing? Okay, for me, my first thing is I need to add two and a, two thirds of a cup of water. Okay, I think mine, I have to add one cup for my mix. So it's important that you pay attention to whatever your mix says and don't uh, just add the same amount for any of them because they're all different. And yeah. You know how, like, how many you're making is a different amount. So I have mine. I'm gonna do one. And fun fact, Ryan, a lot of people don't know, this is a liquid measuring cup. This is a dry measuring cup. So when you're- Oh yeah, yeah. Look, I have two different ones. Here. Yeah, cause you know what's up. A lot of people <laughs> don't know that. So these ones are made for like sugar and flour and mixes and things like that. And then you mm -hmm. use that for liquid. So now you know, kids, now you know. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I got my cup of water. Now, what do you got? Now, I am going to put one cup of mixing, my mixing batter. And I think mine is one and one fourth. Um, one and three fourth. Mine is one. I'm lazy and I don't like to get multiple ones out, so I just count out <laughs> four of the one fourths. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so Ryan, while we're doing this, I got a question for you. Yes? What is your favorite childhood toy? Or what was, I guess, maybe it still is, I don't know. Like, my favorite toy? Yeah. Um, well, I guess you can say for my favorite toy, which honestly, ever since, like, I stopped playing it a while ago, but my favorite toy, I gotta be honest, I always played was Legos. Especially when I was young. I just, I would not stop playing Legos. All my friends play with the Legos. It was really fun. And I had a great time. Dude, my nephew, Jack, he's like, uh, he just turned seven. Oh my gosh, he's so mm -hmm. old. So oh, okay. He loves Legos. Like, <laughs> He's a genius. He's built so many things. It's so impressive. He has a little city. It's very fun. Okay, uh, I got my mix. And then mine has an egg. Yours doesn't have an egg, huh? Yeah, mine does not have eggs. Okay. Mine calls for one egg, so I'm gonna add my egg. Um, okay, Legos are good. I like Legos. Honestly, I feel like I would, I would still play with Legos. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
That's cool. I'm gonna mix my stuff together. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, my I just realized I shouldn't have used the whisk for this. That was dumb. <laughs> I'm use a spatula instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm using a fork. That really helps. Nice. Uh, also mm -hmm. Yeah, that was smart of me. I wasn't being very smart. Mm -hmm. Um, well, you know what I have actually is a dough paddle. Because Louie, if you don't know, Louie makes bread. He does? Yeah. Wow. Like from scratch, he makes sourdough bread. Oh, from scratch. That's actually pretty interesting. Right? He's like, he's just... Yeah. Um, okay. So my next question for you is, it's kind of a two-part question. So, you know, I remember you coming in in sixth grade to Shepherd Youth, and um, there are a lot of kids just now starting Shepherd Youth. We have groups starting, and this is their first experience with being in middle school. So... My two-part question is like, what was scary to you or different or hard for you? And then um, what advice do you have for those new sisters? Okay. I think the most scariest part was how just the classes kind of, they were a lot different from when I was like in kindergarten. I had to go from class to class and I had to have a really, like I had to be able to manage my schedule. That was pretty scary because sometimes, a lot of times I would just be rushing, like maybe in the morning for my first class, I would be running to the classroom just to get on time almost every day. And um, another thing too is the homework. It's because since you have like a bunch more teachers, it kind of, so you have to really make sure you're doing it all once you get it. And that really helps you get all done. That's really smart. Like don't procrastinate. Cause like, I remember that in, I think it was mostly high school that was really bad, but like teachers wouldn't talk to each other. And I would have a ton of work because they like, I'm like, you don't understand, you all assigned assignments at the same time. Yeah, but, that always happens to me. Okay, what about like Shepherd Youth specifically? What would you, what would you tell new sixth graders? Um, about Shepherd Youth specifically? I think one thing is you just gotta be really social because a lot of times when you're not social, it doesn't really help out. Like if I just was sitting up to someone and I just been quiet the whole time, I would probably, I usually miss out on opportunity to make actually really good friends because I have some friends that I knew from um, from the groups and it's just because I just really talk to them a lot during the services. And what I just really communicated a lot, and that really helped. And I made really good bonds. So yeah. it's so easy, I think, to like go through and just put your head down and not feel like you want to interact. But like, and it can feel awkward at first to like talk to people and like, what if they don't want to talk to me? But that's how you make friends, that's how you get connected. Yeah, yeah, I love that. That's Okay, I got my batter. I think it's good. Yeah, I think mine's is re mine is ready too. Okay, I had to add a little more water because I don't think I put enough and it was way too thick. So I think we're good now. Okay, I've got my my skillet's heating up, and then I got my spray. And then do you have your? Yeah, I have my spray, and I have my waffle maker. Turn my thing. See if you can see me. My computer's gonna like fall. There we go. Let's see if you guys can see it. So I'm gonna spray my, I have like a little girdle I use. I got some coconut oil spray. So you get your batter ready in your mixing bowl. Mm -hmm. Put the spray down on either a pan or a griddle or a waffle maker. Make sure it's heated up. And now I'm gonna put, should I make mini pancakes or big pancakes? What did you say? Should I make mini pancakes or big pancakes? Um, I say the baked pancakes. I like it when they're bigger to me. Okay. I like those best. That's what I'll do. Um, okay, as, as we uh, pour our batter in, I might have to concentrate for this. I'm gonna mess it up. Okay, okay. Well, you can also use your, uh, if you're making pancakes at home, you can use your like measuring scoop to scoop out the pancake mix. 
Oh yeah, okay, that's smart. You know what I want to do? Have you seen those videos where they draw pictures like with the pancakes? Oh yeah, I think I might have seen those. It's so cool. I want to be a pancake artist when I grow up. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Ryan, what would you say is the biggest thing in you connecting with God or getting to know God and your relationship with Him? What's been like really important for you or really good for you? I think what's been really important for me is one thing um one thing is usually during service is worship usually when the more i really concentrate on worshiping and what it really means it really helps me kind of not focus not really focus on other people because sometimes i get embarrassed and i just think of all about what other people think mm -hmm. but i just i just got notes for god and i just i worship for him and not for anybody else Dude, that's one of my favorite things about you. Like, you've always been like that. Like, you just, you prioritize, like, concentrating on what worship means and, like, letting it impact you. And you can tell during worship, like, you're just, con like, you're concentrating on God and nothing else. And I'm not to say you don't deal with distraction. I'm sure you do. I do, too. You know? Yeah, I do. But, but at the same time, it's, like, putting forth that effort and trying your best to really, like, use that time wisely. That's what I tell students all the time. It's like, if you're gonna be at church and you're gonna like spend your time doing this, don't waste your time. Don't like not pay attention and whatever. Like try your best to figure out what you believe about God and you know, how God works in your life and all that. And so that's so cool. What's your favorite worship song? My favorite worship song? Well, I don't know many of the, I don't know many of the titles, but um it's kind of hard it's the um the one um i think it's is it called it's who you are maybe a bit it's who you are yeah that one that one that's like my favorite one uh, good good father good good father okay thanks yeah um, also i just broke my spatula <laughs> oh shoot <laughs> everything is breaking <laughs> Um, if you're making pancakes, uh, the way to know when to flip them is you'll start seeing bubbles pop on the top. Yeah. Of the so mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead and flip it and go cook the other side. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's what my dad told me. Right? See? How does yours work, uh, your waffle maker? Mm -hmm. My waffle maker, um, how it works is it will you um, pour the batter in and it will take a waffle shape because of how the how it's made on the inside and then you close it and it'll heat it up which will like kind of bake it and so um it has a red and green light so the red light will be on until and you just have to wait until the green light comes on and okay. then right. you can, mm -hmm. yeah so then you can just open it and then you can um take it out and then you play put it on the plate and there you go and you've got waffles, y'all. I'm so excited. <laughs> my D group leader, um, my first I have two two D group leaders. My first one was Zach. Um Yeah. My first one was Zach. There was multiple Zachs. Um <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know, but I'm having a brain for I feel like for got his last name right now That's but it. my first one was zach he was a really he was really nice um the group leader he was really easy to get along with even though we all mess around he, he kind of helped get people on track nice mm -hmm. i like that and then is that who you were with last semester that who i was with no with last semester it was someone different last semester it was someone different and he was really nice too, so, yeah. I love that. Um, so, my pancakes are almost done. How's your waffle doing? My waffle, it's still going right now. It takes a little bit of time, but eventually it'll be done. It's gonna be done about like a minute. Oh, that's perfect, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I think that Shepherd Youth, is 
like my favorite because there's so many different personalities and different types of people. And um, I've just been so stinking grateful to get to know you and your sister. Cause like, I remember when he has a sister named Jasmine that was in my group. And I remember when we first like were hanging out, Jasmine like always was like the quiet one, but she was like the most wise one too. Like she <laughs> always had the best things to say and stuff. And so I, I'm just so grateful that, you know, we get to know you and I hope that like, as students watch this, they can connect with something about you and your life and, and be able to grow a little bit in their faith or, you know, get connected with Shepherd Youth or be a little less nervous about school, whatever it is. Um, yeah. So I'm really, really, really grateful that you uh, were mm -hmm. able to join me today. I have one last question for you though. It's the most yes. important question, honestly. So be ready. Um, what's your favorite thing about me, Ryan? Your, my favorite, um, I think my favorite thing about you is you're really joyful and cheerful and it really helps to me to get to know you and be comfortable with you. So I think that's one really a great thing about you. So. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. I think some people like don't know how to take me at Shepherd Youth. Like, especially the new sixth graders, I really freak them out sometimes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. Waffles are looking good, bro. Yeah. Let me see if I can get them out. I hope I put enough of the spray. I might not have. Even if they're just waffle pieces, honestly, they're so delicious. <laughs> yeah, the waffle pieces are really good too. Yeah. Whenever I make waffles, I always have to eat them because I usually forget to spray. <laughs> and it just comes out all in pieces. You know what? Like you're teaching everyone who's watching right now, make sure you spray the top and the bottom of your waffle maker with your oil. Yeah. And then they're gonna have full beautiful waffles when they make theirs because they learned from you. Yeah, I I don't think I I don't think I put enough spray. You're Mine no is idea. a little sticky. It's coming, I see it, I see it. Yeah, it's coming. Should we it's put, coming. What, what toppings do you put on? Toppings? Um, I think I might have tried strawberry before. All I put on though is just syrup, and it tastes really good. I got. You know what I've got? I've got raspberries in my fridge, and I have whipped cream. That is what I'm eating. I'm wow. This right now, you know. Okay, I'm gonna wash my strawberries. That is my number one advice when eating pancakes and waffles: experiment with your toppings. Um, that's a good idea. Right? Yeah. Have I you need ever had, what was that? I said I need to experiment with experiment with mine more too. Yeah. See, if you're Think just putting it. butter and syrup all the time, that's good. Yeah. But. <laughs> I, uh, you know what's really good? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had cookie butter? No, I don't think I had cookie butter before. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna send you a jar of cookie butter. Listen, it, <laughs> okay. is, it is like everything you want a spread to be. Like, mm -hmm. it's delicious. It's horrible for you. It's super sugary, but it's so, so good. Super good. That sounds really good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's made of cookies. How could it be bad, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's coming out now. It's still really sticky. That's okay. Don't worry. I don't think it broke though, so that's the good thing. Yeah, you have one consistent waffle, I'm saying. Yeah, it just kind of swished. <laughs> I love it, I love it. There you go, okay. I got it off. There we go. I don't know if I need syrup. I'm gonna try it. A little one. burnt, but it's okay. You know, I like when waffles are crisp like that. You do? Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I love are the, have you ever had the, um, the, the waffles that are made of like cake batter from Waffle Love? Um, I think I might have. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> mm. I 
don't think I need syrup. My whipped cream is perfect. You're way sick. I'm going to put my butter on right now. Some butter? Okay, fun fact, I never put butter on pancakes and waffles, ever. Never? No, I don't know why. I think I just feel like it. you can't taste it enough. Hmm, huh. I guess so, I'm yeah. Just, I'm like, it's wasting my calories. I'd rather put syrup all over them. Yeah, true. Usually when I get pancakes and I'm making them, I usually just spread the butter all over to make sure I taste it sometimes. Because sometimes you don't. Right? And then it's mm -hmm. So I guess, yeah, either go lots of butter or no butter. That's what, that's my stance. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. You can also do powdered sugar is a great topping. Or um, you could do peanut butter. You can make, you can mix chocolate chips into your batter. You could do so many things. I'm oh, sorry, I dropped it. I dropped my phone. <laughs> okay, okay, here you go. There you go. All right, right. you got our waffles? Yes, my waffles are all done. Here. Are you putting syrup on them? Like syrup? Um, I can right now. Let me just get some. Well, do you like syrup or do you just do butter? What do you do? Um, I honestly just put a bunch of syrup on it with some butter and it tastes great. Syrup's the best. Mm -hmm. Liquid sugar. Yeah. Okay, let me get a fork. We can do a taste test here. See how his waffles turned out. Mm. It turned out nice and good. But the syrup makes it look even more appetizing, you know? Just... Yeah, a lot more appetizing. The moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. That's good, it tastes pretty good. It's like one of my best, to be honest. I love it, I love it. You know, I feel like we're really empowering the youth. We're empowering the next generation to make their own waffles and pancakes. I think that's mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness, well thanks for joining us for Food Friday, everyone. Um, Ryan, thank you so much. You're welcome. And I'm here with me and making some waffles and pancakes. <laughs> you know, I, I'm gonna buy you some cookie butter to really up the game for next time. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. We'll see you guys tomorrow on the YouTube Live and then again here Monday on YouTube for some new video content. Bye guys.